Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be making barium manganate using a very specific method that I got from a paper um, where it talks about the use of barium manganate as an oxidizer in organic chemistry. Um, looking over this paper, man, this might be as awesome a discovery as the barium ruthenate oxidation um, just for like the sheer versatility and coolness of it. So we will definitely be exploring that, but before we can do it, we need to make up the barium manganate, and I am going to use the method that's exactly described in the paper. So what I've got here is one molar equivalent of manganese dioxide, um, on top of two molar equivalents of potassium hydroxide. Don't worry, I'll, I'll show it to you when we go to melt it all down. Um, I just have it covered up like that so that the potassium hydroxide won't absorb any moisture from the atmosphere. <laughs> the barium hydroxide solution is supposed to be adjusted to a pH of 7 and it's supposed to be warm. At first I couldn't understand that really and I still kind of can't. I mean, I get it, you want to add a little bit of acid to it to adjust the pH to make sure that all the barium carbonate that is probably formed from the barium hydroxide reacting with carbon dioxide, dissolved in the distilled water and in the air, um, and forms barium carbonate, so you add a little bit of acid to get it to a pH of 7, all the barium carbonate should dissolve. Nice, right? Why you can't just use a solution of barium nitrate is beyond me. <laughs> I, can't, I honestly cannot understand why it has to be pH adjusted barium hydroxide, but whatever. Um, you know, they said that in the paper that using barium manganate produced by this method gave very reproducible results when it was used in organic chemistry. So, we're going to give it a try and we're going to see what we get. So, anyway, on with the show. So, I'm going to try making up the barium manganate the way they describe it. What we have here is, focus your piece of shit, we have um, 15 grams of manganese dioxide mixed with two molar equivalents of potassium hydroxide. I mixed this up last night, I cannot remember what the weight is, but I'm sure it's on the screen. Um, what I'm going to do, the paper says to heat this in an oven, at 350C, yeah, we, we sadly, <laughs> ovens and furnaces, we, we don't have those here at the poor man's chemist because, you know, it's the poor man's chemist. I mean, my God, I didn't even get a paycheck last month. That's why I did all those Kratom videos and all that work. Um, so, yeah, no ovens here. We're going to have to figure out how to do this over a burner. So, I'm just going to keep the flame low, keep the temperature moderate and keep an eye on it. The paper says to let it go for an hour. Um, what will happen is that the black manganese dioxide will turn to a dark green and um, I'm just gonna watch for that color change and go with that. Here we go. It's over a low flame right now. Oh, oh! Oh, shit is already starting to happen. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> that was faster than expected. Ah, uh, shit. Crucible tongs. Crucible tongs might be helpful. Well, at least you can see it. <laughs> okay, dude, seriously. Well, now you really can't see it so much. That's okay. Let's see if we can get you guys a better angle here. There we go. Now this is on low. That is the flame as low as it will go. Oh, it's gonna be splatterishous. Oh! Very splatterishes. Okay, well. Does this really need to go for an hour? Because it looks like it's kind of doing it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now it is getting very, very solid. I'm guessing that was water. It beats the fuck out of me. Alrighty then. Oh, it's turning green. Look at that. Would you look at that? I can't zoom in anymore. Ooh, I hope you can see that. Right down here. It's starting to turn green. Ah, that's the tits, man. Look at this shit. I don't even like tits, but there they are. <laughs> okay, well, all right. We're just going to let this thing cook for a little while until it all turns nice and green like that all the fucking way through, which, going at the, looking at the rate it's going, I don't know. Maybe that's why they said an hour. That's okay. It's a brand new cylinder of propane. We've got an, more than an hour's burn in it at this flow rate. We're golden. Just going to let it go. Okay, everyone, so this is our solidified melt. I'll back out a little bit. You can see it is, or at least I hope you can see, it is dark green in spots and kind of black in others. Um, I'm not really sure. It may be a lot of the manganese dioxide didn't react. I don't even know if a lot of it didn't react. It just looks like some of it didn't. But it is very hard to tell. Um, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and add some water to this and dissolve okay all right dissolve the melt and then we are going to precipitate it out with some barium nitrate whoa it's cracked no 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 oh, shit Woo! Well, managed to save most of it. <laughs> Shit! Oh well, that's okay. It's alright. Um, alrighty then. Hey, at least it's nice and green, man. At least we got the product we were after. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to warm this up just a little bit and let everything dissolve. And then we are going to... Um, precipitate it out with a solution of barium nitrate. So I will come back when all of this is dissolved and I have removed the crucible pieces and we're ready to move on to the next step. And hey, this is doing weird things to the wood. Huh, that's cool. Maybe I'll leave it there and we'll see what it does. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so one thing that I have discovered about this stuff is that it oxidizes pretty damn easily. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm already getting traces of purple here where this barium manganate is oxidizing to permanganate. Um, happily, barium manganate is not soluble in water, while barium permanganate is. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to filter the solution into... A solution of barium nitrate. And would you look at that. Shit, sorry, I didn't realize that was so high up. That is awesome! That is the wrong color. Okay. What is happening here? might be that a lot of it has become permanganate but I think we are getting a precipitate of barium manganate on the bottom I hope I guess we'll see well as an aside we found a pretty convenient way to make permanganate too <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, everybody. So this is the product that I've got. Um, this prep, for being so simple, has been very, very interesting. So you saw the purple color that developed when I filtered the potassium manganate into the barium nitrate. Um, as I was filtering out the barium manganate, 
um, the purple color of the filtrate disappeared and then it turned into this bluish liquid that what you see now is some of the solid that's made it through um, I actually had to dump it out uh, because it was just getting kind of full but it went from permanganate purple to a blue colored liquid kind of like what you see there although it was much more strongly colored um, at first I wasn't really sure what the fuck to think um, the, the, I have gotten a lot of permanganate off of this prep, but um, when I went back and I looked at the paper, it said that barium manganate was a blue compound, even though potassium manganate is green. I don't know, I thought barium manganate would be a greenish compound. But whatever, okay. Um, so I am going to let this finish filtering and then I'm going to dry it and we're going to see what we get. Okay, everyone, there you have it. That is dried barium manganate. I went back and I looked at the literature and happily all of the color changes that we saw were actually supposed to happen. So... It's supposed to be a dark blue compound, so that, that's, we, we definitely got it, that is it, so yay, I so fucking love it when things work. So, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't like it, well, whatever, subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can, and until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That is really beautiful looking stuff, man.